This video will walk you through the process of creating a Google Quiz assignment inside Classroom. First, you'll go to your Classroom and make sure you're on the Classwork tab, and then click on the Create button. Choose Quiz Assignment. So we'll go ahead and, and title our assignment and give some instructions here. The assignment is a pre-algebra quiz. And the instructions are to complete the quiz and work on the other classroom assignment. Now this automatically puts a blank quiz onto your form that you're going to be using for the assignment. And I'm not going to use that blank quiz, although we could. We could start fresh from, a, from creating a form right here inside assignment. But I'm going to close that out and get rid of it. And I'm going to go right here to add and go to my Google Drive. And then try to find the form that I've been working on, which I'm going to make into a quiz. So I'm going to go right here to my drive and then do a little search. And it's called pre-algebra and algebra quiz. Okay, so here's the form right here. I know it has that purple symbol, so I know that's the quiz. So I selected it. I'll go to insert. And now, you can add more materials here, but I'm not going to do that, and the reason why is that once you add something else, you no longer have access to this grade importing feature. So whenever you're creating a Google quiz inside Classroom and you want to make an assignment that is automatically graded and the grades are automatically imported into your Google Classroom, you want to keep this on so that it does that. Now again, if you add anything else to this, like a study guide or another assignment, then this will be grayed out and you won't be able to turn it on. The other thing that you need to notice is this. If you were in the classroom, you could turn this on so that it only worked on Chromebooks. But since we're doing distance learning, we want to make sure that this is off and kept off. Otherwise, kids cannot actually take the quiz if they're in a home setting and using maybe a laptop or a computer or even a phone, because that only works on Chromebooks. And it's an excellent feature when you're in a physical setting with students using Chromebooks. But for distance learning, we need to turn it off. Now, down here is a very important note. In your form, you have to, the grade importing feature automatically limits each form to one response per person. It collects the email addresses and restricts responses to users in your domain. So when you have your form set up, if I go into mine right here, I want to make those choices, and those are good choices to make, but it will automatically do that for you, and those choices are right here. Collect email addresses, restrict users to Fayette County Schools, and limit to one response. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill the rest of this out. Um, I'm going to send it to the classroom I'm in. I will have all students actually take this quiz. I'm going to change the point value to 55. And then the topic is going to be math. And there's no rubric or anything else like that. And I'm ready to assign it, so I just go right here to click Assign, and then we're done. So now that becomes an assignment in my stream, and there it is right there. 